Namaste. Good morning, good afternoon for everybody who is listening out there. I feel very fortunate and blessed today, especially being asked by Karna Sakya, who is like my father. Sunil Sakya was my childhood friend. We are almost like soul brothers. Grew up together since I was five in Chhatrapati. So it's great fortune to actually share my little my samsar, my life. Here is a really the secret is positive. But say the he, even though I came from a culture, after Manchilita Gali Garsani, Mira Amali, Mira Mama, Dr. Tikaman, Kunam Lira, Sari, Chindigama Duho Gami Pacha, Mamali Kastu Duho Gari Parira, as a doctor on the he was also a president of Rotary Club, the only doctor that operated on himself. So he was one of my inspiration. But said the he, I always looked up to people who achieved. My grandfather was the accountant general. And he was all about money. First time I went to America, when I saw a shirt going for $500, a cowboy boot for $1,500, and the government of Nepal only gave me $150 to go traveling, I came back with a great interest to succeed, to make money. So I went to my grandfather, Mir Subhak Kupal Shasta, who was all about money. He created Money Harst Empire. I went to him and I said, grandfather, I want to make money, lots of money. I don't care how, but I want to be rich. And he quickly turned around to me and says, money is not what makes you rich. He says, what? He says, it's friends, Sangat and wisdom, that is what's going to make you rich. Money will keep you busy, all right. That's what is called busyness. So that gave me a very different insight. Here is a success. What is success in life? Success is not about how much money you have or what prestige you have gathered. Or how famous you are. It's about, can you live with harmony with yourself and with the people around? Can you actually live like a human race? I'm one Nepal ma zanni. Sati salko I struggled to survive in Tamil. I was the first tourist shop. I learned about the world. What kind of people lived in the world and how to talk their language.
So this is my language university. Language university and university of life. And my pache de he Ali Pinni I never took life seriously. I tried very hard to keep an innocent, childlike mindset, playing along. Everything was possible in my mind, especially Father Brukpandi, your moral science man, your class man. You can look at the whole or the meat of the donut. There's two ways of looking at things. You can look at a half glass or a half full glass. So it's all about attitude. Life on the era, after how you look at life. For a positive thinker, every problem has a solution. But for a negative thinker, every solution is a problem. Our, I came from a very profound Lewari background, strict. Angris Biagari Vanera, Gorbadar Nikandia. Almost society of Nepal was so harsh. So, in fact, really, my life began when I met my wife. She was all positive, everything was possible in her world. I bought a house. art. Artist. Like I said, my life began. My wife was an artist. She taught me what is art and artist way, according to the Western world. Now in Nepal, as I knew art, it was more of a souvenir for tourists. Or if you are clever enough to make a few dollars out of it, But as the political situation deteriorated in Nepal, tourists are open come on the Thali. They are on the Thali. So I had this idea of traveling where the tourists were and very quickly realized that the world is not Tamil. Angris or Rupaipani, some of them never were interested. Our Nepal, the Nepali, what is that our country has? What is it? Just go close my eye. And I found out that in the East, in Nepal, we have abundance of spirituality. Harek Patasmitra Ma Mandir, Tupani Piana, every temple comes alive. Spirituality, when it is Judaism, Nepal. 
माघ महिना आए भने संस्थान पर्ने हाम्रो जात्रा चार पर्व continuously reminded us of spirituality तर there is a starvation of materialism hello mr how are you nakoishiga chakure ku kuirer ku nepali ru piche piche like the and i was educated by the kuires i went to St. Javis, Angus Rolini, Parado Natali. I could kind of understand where they were coming from. Our Sophie, the Miro Pia Abavitsky, Jaime Zani, Ireland, the Palco Bisma, we lived off our bag for years till my second daughter was born. Then we had to decide where we were going to live. My wife told me we need a base to send our kids to school. Once again, positive thinking. I said, great, where do you want your house? I said, Kiri man zao, umna zao muna Kiri kumnae. So, phu. Te vana ma khuti ma bhaavar ko jama vir ko paisa sabe. I bought a piece of land, half a acre. Yora chani mobile home web, mani park rano huncha. And it's to be out of power. After specific Ireland man, Bajili Banizusti, Easter Mistrok for the Oreg Sarma Dalagiri, Tiago successful south, like Easter Mitra Manau, Regan Boom, Kopiche Laga. And they say, hi, Lenathan, Dita Possel Burgo, somebody who sponsored a Sam Mandala, Gordon Campbell on this half of the time. He was very supportive. One day, you're an Indian Guru Ayrata Ireland, Bitten Jani Ho. Have been given a task to pick him up and take him to his den. And my lady, why not? I met Deepak for the first time. Two times, I say, Deepak, like one. Some woman was suing him. And he was like, I to go And I told him, Deepak, everybody have their own individual karma. Don't let anybody's karma affect you. Your karma is to translate the ancient wisdom of the East in a Hollywood language. You should go ahead. Don't bother. You know, Uli, I think I will not do this because in the West, as soon as you put your head up, they suit you down. It is not easy. And this is the good attitude. I am making a million dollars. Every book I write. No. We also have a divine purpose. To stay in my literary. Why Tamilna. 
I found out that my purpose in life is to awaken the divine in every single person I meet in my life. Paisa knows, knows, EPOs, millennials, Sabai Lai Mili, Nepal Po Gorob Tapare, Shikong Chi. Hazapani, and Diri, Nepal, Iran, Inistep. They talk about the poverty of Nepal, earthquake, this and that, the third world. Malachita Duksa. I feel sad from very deep inside because I feel so great about Nepal and what Nepal has to offer. Zoom Maya Momta Satya Kubis Mahune Maya Family Mahune Maya Mele Company Sansar Mapaina. It is deteriorating very quickly. A lot of Nepalese wants to be like the West. but it's about finding your true self. <clears throat> Very often, depending on the family you are born into, culture you come from, religion you follow, you have a certain concept of life. But beyond your individual concept, your individual imagination, is the world, is the universe. So as soon as you go, give up, your individual identity, you will suddenly realize you are the universe. Nepal Bhagavad Harapi, I'm a Nepal Kutkisa. What does Nepal represent. Our Vedic Samayama, Nepal like Tapobumi, Manila, India, Man, Susuke, Mahasita, Guru, Nepal, Mahara, Tapasya, Materially, we have four, okay. But there is a certain spiritual content. I mean, the Pali or some of the spirituality, that is something very unique. And nature, Prakriti, Kusondra Matrena, I may survey. You are a prakritic chanar. We are part of nature. And the further we go away from nature into the marketplace, building homes and hotels and businesses, and further we go away from into the computer world, bringing bitcoins and NFTs and all this. Somewhere there, you'll find yourself stressed out, unbalanced. But if you spend one hour every day in nature, you can balance your mind. That is the power of nature. If you want to see the glory of God is in nature, it can be discussed in different religions different temples, mosques, and churches. But to experience God is in nature. And on top of that, as an artist, I just finished painting the secret temple of the Dalai Lama. 
which was only accessible to him. Dalai Lama le matre, dhyan garnu pangne, varsko ektal matre khulin chyo, patala ko pachari, usko samar palisna. And that was the illustration of how to attain a rainbow body. Body of light, ne, kasari attain baneta. Rainbow body, kasari attain baneta. And it was very simple. It was about the mind, quietening the mind. When you quieten your intellectual mind, when you quieten your conceptual mind, when you quieten your manipulative mind, you hear silence then. In that silence, you realize that beyond your physical, mental, and emotional body, you have a body of light. In silence, we are all one. In silence, we can realize how interconnected we are. Human grace on the Toyota, Jigsaw was the story of Neovali. Every single human being is a piece in that Jigsaw puzzle. They say, every single one of you is important. And deep inside, deep inside every single one of you, no matter what religion you follow, what culture you come from, there's a pure being, pure light, pure energy, existing in total potentiality. But then we have a mind based on our intellectual mind that we developed based on the books we read, gurus you listen to, teachers you had, experiences. You develop a certain concept of the world. But if you can be sunyata, no more conversation in the mind, no more opinion or judgment, It is amazing the sense of belonging you get when your finite mind no longer exists. Your consciousness travels to a higher dimension called truth. Truth, truth is not your point of view or my point of view. Truth is not of the past, present, or the future. Truth engulfs all time. It is really my ultimate dream as an artist. It took me 10 years with 15 apprentices, 150 years of manpower to illustrate. to finish this body of work. And after that, I came to realization that our mind can be our best friend or the worst enemy. That truly, we are all really light being. We are made of many light points beyond our mind. How do you do that? How do you just do that? Just, just be. You have to realize what a gift it is to have a human body. A human body is made out of conscious cells. In fact, every single one of you are conscious being. You just forgotten it. 
I was the last speaker for Deepak Chopra in the millennium. In 1999, he had a big party in Palm Springs. I was the last speaker. And my message then was, in the last millennium, there was only one Buddha. In the coming millennium, I hope to see thousands of Buddha. Because every single one of you have the potentiality of being a Buddha. Let's meditate on that. And I opened this in paper of a sinister gallery, which was about thousands of Buddhas. Our Nepal Mahapani, Amru thought pattern, Jun Hamle Urkim, Bichakara, Tuzani. I am very, very excited to see a platform like Kanasak Fijili, positivity, the essence of positivity here is. Positive mindset, Bhavani. Yes, we can. We can do anything. Yeah, I have a company called The Academy of Everything is Possible. Our art samsarma, Western samsarma, Apache, with the paintings I have. the essence of the paintings I had from my Tamil days when I came to Ireland. I loved them so much because I used to always keep the best to show the other artists how to paint. Last price happened once, when it was to be so not daily pitching. But it was different. But once I understood what it had, the essence, the message, thank you for the I will just think that I will thank you here. My listening, Mero Shimati Sophie Lai. I want to go to England. I want to have these paintings in the museum. Why not? Give it a try. London IPA, Katmanu Me Sati Banago, David on this, my bossy. And he told me, you think this is Tamil? Museums don't buy just art just like that. Pani Ali. And well, is anywhere there is a will, there is a way. Tin Hapta song, appointment Lina Kozi. But they kept saying, Mr. Svesta, we don't buy anything new. Museum is where there is old. All artists we have is 100 years old or more. Dead artist only. Kishi Garela. Maybe when you die, we might buy. And it's good, I will. Kishi Garela. Chuba. 
हम लोग फिजिक्स मीजियम Do you have appointments? I pretended as if I didn't speak a word of English. Who is that? Just to stand by this. So many limitations. Yes, yes, I talk a lot. He was on the phone. I heard it. Open it, confused, but Mr. Sister on his Sunday phone. I heard it. Appointment here, get here. Anyhow, he came down. He's here waiting for you. When he came down, come up, come up. And when he saw me, it was like I literally stepped out of Tibet. And then, like Tibet section, and then like in the showcase was the exact robe that I was wearing. Only my little sister. This is where I should come shopping for my clothes. And this is the guy. Oh my God! What are you doing with 18th century robe? Says this is what I wear for formal meetings with important people. The material guy, table my tanga, aru kore. They were amazed at the quality. Then the pilot have time to paint in one day. They were anthropology subject. Some travelers found or expedition brought back. They couldn't imagine what it was. So the quality surpassed. Most of their collection. Then he brought in all the curators, and right there and then, they decided to buy four paintings for their permanent collection in the Oriental Antiquities, our British Museum, the King's Museum. I came and told my friend, "They bought four paintings." Oh, really? My God, Romeo! I went back very happy. Then I came back again and approached V&A. Hey, British Museum bought paintings from me. What are you guys? And I made friends with him, John Clark, and him. I actually, he was in Nepal too. They are Rajan Lakshmi Peter. We live in a museum called the Sir Modern Museum of Nepalese Art and Earth. He became very good friends, and he he kept me in touch with the museum. So now I have seventeen major museums under my belt. This specific very Kathmandu, I and a friend of mine, two times at any of Tibet house pulling. Of Tibet house pulling when the sisters and. Ireland has been able to see how of Chicago. At the time, I was thinking of Orko, Anthony Harris, or Michael Harris. I'm a put on Burma go, Angshun go, Shiman. When you listen, any medical training go, get up there. But some pieces are missing, and I said I will paint it. Tibetan medical shape like me. My reason is bizarre. It consists of seventy-nine paintings. It took me seven years with forty apprentices, two hundred eighty years of manpower. 
a lot of work. Only one intention behind was that the modern medicine had many unanswered questions with the hope that human race will find alternative way to heal ourselves. Especially when I found out there's a certain way a doctor should behave with compassion and love. 50% of the healing is based on the confidence of the doctor. Mera ama lai, mawa ga, mawa ga onwa dhe puti. Jiu tu heko sabi ni wanti. Tiyo da saiko onwesa. So Tibet house kol ne ba hai. Sabi li gali wa rati. Yo, semi dain pise te kai talma. Yaha besne, oslai besne. But anyway, I had the exhibition. Dalai Lama opened the show. Richard Gere, you know, somebody happened here. Two time Matani, His Holiness Lee. Romeo may be the reincarnation of the Nepalese artist that came to Tibet many years ago. Opening man, because the painting was all over. So by line, stick out that is property. This Mate Natural History Museum of New York, co curator of the literature. She visited me in the pub. And when she saw how I was living, she said, don't worry, I will go back and help you out. So she found somebody to buy the medical set, which paid for the house in the pub and a little bit of construction here. After I was a fair island for me, for the main purpose of education, I didn't have the opportunity to study, so I wanted my kids to have all the opportunity and I went to work. This person, someone, I traveled. But for money, I worked only two weeks a year. Deepak used to organize workshop called Selection of Spirit. And I was the guest speaker. And he would give me a staple of $18,000, which was most of them would go in the hotels because it was all done in big hotels, Four Seasons, Chris Carlton. You know, a lot of but I made sales of hundred to two hundred thousand dollars, and that was my work done. For me, there was more to life. It was about being with your loved ones and being in nature and creating. Our renaissance of the art from the Himalayas, the staple of marriage in the Hima, Tanka Lek Nirlo, Pailak Paisa, last 
last price how much for a Sunday Sunday bargaining just take a tourist or so art teacher GP got on to Java deep box of Hollywood go volume of money buying I did not go out and build big houses, many houses in the green. But I invested into this art form. I read many books. I feel research going. Museum, museum going. What does you think the world needs to hear? He tapered over now, Bidishi, Bidish Mavani. He tapered my research away. Love them is book knowledge. But there was no university for me to study Tanka or specialized in Tanka. And the first book was Tibetan Art of Healing. There's any whole make a money state about health. That is what kept me touch with Deepa. He wrote the preface for it. And Ule Sani, these what Romeo paints are visual dimension to the work that I have been introducing in my own books, seminars, and clinical practices. All of the followers also was interested in the work. And on top of that, he went to work like a PR. You much like better. Meet him, meet him, meet him, meet her. Hilton Go Mali. The Tiffany Art Cultural Bar. He would introduce this. And he didn't say, Romeo, from today, your art is worth 10 times. Oh, really, Deepa? Yes, 10 times. You'll have to work less. And don't promote yourselves. Don't push yourselves. Don't be everywhere. Let them find you. But he went and he told stories of my life, of the inspiration of love. Relationship on the cheese money was a good process. Our I'm the society, put on society, ma. They just to forget the wife. Swasne or Rudane Mayo. Just to approach Panavani, our Malachani. I wanted a friend. I wanted somebody who would stand by me, who would be positive. And I did find somebody like that who just made anything possible. It's very interesting. You are a Biswaso. If you can imagine, you can make it happen. I'm middle Nepal, middle Nepali, Nazir, the Baini. You all are so dear to me. 
how can I explain with words? Indian Bajapani after much is that. Ab Nepalma Kitsota. How are you in Nepalma? What is it? Kikarnata. Pandemic pony or coronavirus pony. Terry Zoom call. I attended. Beginning, beginning matter. America, pull it, people go like me. Maramar. Look where human race has gone to. You can't even trust that you will have paper to wipe your ass. Have we really lost the trust in each other this much? Have we really lost what human beings are all about? I was to Hollywood Mapani, Hollywood Film Festival. They asked me to open the film festival. My message there was Me Too movement has to evolve to mothers too. Me too, one era. Mara Mara, Hollywood may put upon a girl and a con can in his kid. When a team of the mothers to my evolved every human being, no matter what religion you follow, what culture you come from, what color your skin. Every single human being, including Jesus Christ and all the Buddhas, came from the Divine Mother's womb. But unfortunately, in modern human consciousness, we treated them as object of lust and prop of dolls to sell products. We have to restore that respect we have for women. Because every woman walking on this planet is an embodiment of the Divine Mother. My Ramali said, Kaili Zahir Khanawala, that I could not imagine my house running without her. She was ever present. In fact, she's the only teacher that taught me unconditional love. I came, I studied many religions, followed many teachers, too many rules. Too many fear of making a mistake. Artists when they receive any freedom. Artists are pioneers of the human mind. Artists find different ways. Now our normal human mind is very busy on survival. It is a prison of the soul. Normal human mind is limited. That's why meditation comes in. Quietness, silence comes in. How to find your true self? Very often people forget who they really are in the busy everyday life. To find your true self, you have to let go of who you think you are or who you think others think you are. Really deep inside, you have an ocean of love. To love, Jani, to my 
somebody someone behind the sun by if you can share that love then it becomes magic have to go in nepal bhikuti ko katha sunne ho ni nepal ma hami ka art pa ko tai ma tibet ma ke pen che na sangchan ko phol ati bhane ra bhane na especially now living in isolation is of the past we have to realize we are a global community with global issues climate change is a big one next is human evolution it is my ultimate dream that the whole human race realize beyond our physical emotional mental body we have a body of light how can we override our mind we are programmed to be community but we've been educated and trained to be individuals narcissist almost how can we find that love and command this is what my art is all about it is all about how we can come together and be i explain the modern day art world also my art is not done by one person it is a collective force like in the renaissance time nothing beautiful can be done alone or in one day our art only is one here marketing on who we on the country a picasso van gogh they were both masters but one learned to market himself the other one didn't i was lucky to find and mentor people like in that mahabharat where the hunter's son learned archery from arjuna's teacher just watching them because he was denied to be a student just because he came from a lower caste me to my secret has been i always watched and took people as mentor take an example of karna sakya himself what he has achieved what he is bringing just this positivity this is the biggest necessity in nepal i don't blame anybody but our loved ones are the ones who plant self doubt i don't blame them because they don't know anything better eh lord and the but said he carefully we are brought up but in fact sometimes cultures can cut your wings as well i have great respect for my grandfather for my father and thanks for my big brother for taking all the social never i felt so there is so much social goodie and 
so many rules to give me the freedom to be who I am. Oh yeah, I live a very simple life. I have no great dreams. I feel I'm already here. And so are you all. Every encounter is a karmic reunion. Please feel free to direct message me if I can be of your help. Because the network is what it's all about. Who you know, how you know. And Nepal ma tani hune saksa. Nepal ma pani no hune haina. We can also make Nepal great again. And it is coming. Like I said, if we can bring spiritual tourism. If we can sell our hotels as retreat centers, there are enough teachers and gurus out there. If we can clean up our self-doubt that has been planted in us, my dear Monastery, it is not anybody's fault. But consciously, you can transform and realize that sky is the limit. Sansama limit is not there. You make the limit. You punish yourself. Nobody punishes. God does not punish or reward. Your action, constructive action bound, it is very fruitful. Destructive action bound is not. But I will, I will maybe like to share a little bit.